We are concluding uh, this year's cycle with the Vizot Bracha, looking forward to next year with a new figure. Um, we're going to start with Rabbi Yaakov Vichetzera. Vizot Bracha, he asks, why does it write Vizot Bracha, right? And this is the blessing. What is this blessing? And he says, if you look at Vizot Bracha, its numeric value is equal to Vizoya Torah. And this is the Torah. And this is what Moses is getting at. He's saying it's very simple. God has given you the Torah, and this is also why the continuous verse then talks about God giving us the Torah, because this is the blessing. The blessing is the Torah. God says, the, and Moses is telling us in a nutshell, the story here is that God has given us this, this great gift, the Torah, and the more we deal with it, uh, 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 you know, God has blessed us because this is what he loves most, and, and, and when we're able, right, and because God and the Torah are one, when we're able to, to connect to the Torah and deal with it and do what needs to be done, then there's nothing that God loves more. So this is for Rabbi Yaakov. He writes a lot of different stuff, Kabbalistic stuff, but I think this is a very simple, beautiful idea. Vezot Racha, it's all about the Torah. And it's how to keep the Torah, it's how to deal with the Torah. And here, this then moves us to, shifts us to the Magid of Zlotchov, the ones to discuss the, the way in which we acquired the Torah. So we're told there's the verse that says, Mi mino esh dat lamo. A very uh, 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 difficult verse, but essentially it means that right, God gave us his fiery Torah. And we are told that, right, and, and, and the Magid brings a, 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 a discussion, the Talmud, but the bottom line is that, you know, the Israelites were given the Torah because we're sort of, we're Azim. We're kind of, you know, a little bit, um, you know, we're a bit of a difficult people. But, but, but why did we get the Torah? And, and the real question is as follows. When a person's born, you grow up, food and drink is something that is very intuitive, right? The body knows it needs to eat and drink. So too, uh, 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 you know, all sorts of other uh, desires and needs, our body knows perfectly to, to get what we need. We would have thought that with Torah, it's the same thing. That our neshama knows instinctively how to keep the Torah, what you need to do on Shabbos, what you need to do on Sukkot. I mean, it's not trivial why you even need a Torah. Why doesn't the neshama have this intuition like our physical aspects? And he says, if you look at Avraham Avinu, that we're told that, you know, kept a, a lot of different stuff, he says, the truth is, and Hashemah does have the intuition. But what is the problem? What's the Talmud teaching us? That the more we sin and we have an inclination, be, because we're, you know, be, because of the difficult people that we are, we have an inclination to sin. And when we sin, we cloud our divine cognition. We cloud our divine in, e, IQ and EQ, our intelligence, our divine intelligence, that does intuitively know everything that the Torah needs and asks of us. But living in a world in which we sin, it is difficult, and therefore we were given the Torah. And if we connect this to Rabbi Yaakov Echzerah, this is why God's blessing is amazing. Knowing we live in a world where there's going to be sinning, it's going to be difficult and challenging, so we get this blessing we can connect with. I will end with one more thing that the Magid says. We finish, right, the last bit of the Mishnah is Masechet Kelim, uh, uh, you know, in the, in, the, uh, um, in the book of Tarot. And the very last verse in Kelim, we say, uh, you know, uh, 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 blessed are you, Kelim, that you start with impurity and you end with purity. What does this mean? And the Magi tells us that if you look at the, 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 the first verse, in the first, you know, bit of the Torah, it says, Al Pnei Tehom, right, that sort of God is going in this abyss. The last letters of Vechoshech, sorry, in darkness, in this abyss, Vechoshech Al Pnei Tehom, the last letters is Kelim, utensils. And if you look at the last letters of the Torah, Moshe Leinei Kol Israel, right? The Torah that Moses gave in front of all the Israelites. If you look at the first letters, it's also killing utensils. And he says, this is what the Mishnah meant, and this is how we are meant to view the Torah. That we, and this also connects, of course, to, to what our Rebbe's are teaching us here, this idea that, that we live in an impure, an impure world, but we, we turn it pure by connecting to the Torah. This wonderful blessing that we were given, uh, thoughts on the Torah portion of Vizot Bracha. It's been a wonderful year with Rabbi Yaakov Echzer and the Magid of Zlotchov. We're going to miss them deeply. We're going to keep on with them. And next year, very for, for next week, for Bracious Genesis, a very, very special character. So Chag Sameach.